Hey everyone, in today's video I want to do a hair update and I haven't done a video like this on my channel before but there are a few different things that I want to talk about and before I begin this video I did want to mention that I am filming on a different camera. The camera that I normally film on is this DSLR but it's having some issues right now. It is currently off but it is still on so I'm just gonna have to let the battery partially drain out and then take that out so yeah, sorry about that, but I am filming on a different camera, so hopefully the volume and the focus and everything else is good. And it is a flip up screen camera, so I'm going to really try not to look at the top um, of the screen. I'm just going to try to look directly in the camera, so hopefully everything works out. But anyways, um, like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a hair update. And the first thing that I wanted to mention is that I had a hair scare recently because I... I'm not sure but I think I may be experiencing a little bit of heat damage and I know it's kind of ironic that I have my hair straightened. The last time I straightened it was back in March but recently I was a bridesmaid and I wanted to change up my hair so I decided to straighten it. So during that time so from March till when I strained it last, um, after I washed my hair I noticed that some of the ends were a little bit stringy and I just got really scared because my hair was not curling back up to the way that it normally would. So I did a little bit of research online and I didn't want to be in denial that my hair was experiencing heat damage but I also didn't want to like jump the gun and cut it off right away. So I just did a little bit of research and I noticed that sometimes it could take a little bit of time to recover from it. So I'm just kind of in that process of giving it deep treatments and just taking really good care of it and hopefully I don't have the heat damage but I did cut off a few of my ends so I won't know until I fully wash my hair um, and then after I kind of figure out like, if I am having heat damage or if I am recovering from it. So let me know if you want me to keep you updated on that. And the second thing I want to mention is that I want to potentially dye my hair, which I'm so excited for. I'm the type of person that loves to dye my hair like all the time. I absolutely love having nice brown highlights or low lights or anything like that in my hair. Well, not really low lights because that's that's more like if you have a lighter hair color and then you have darker and lighter hair colors but basically I love having my hair dyed so I'm thinking of coloring my hair the same color that I have used before which is from dark and lovely and this one is light golden blonde and that is how it looks and I'll show you the side because it has a little chart there showing what you, what your hair color is and then the results that you're supposed to get so I'm supposed to get a color about there but generally I have to dye my hair a few times before I actually do get that color sometimes I could achieve this color but then I have to keep it in my hair for a little bit longer but what I want to do um, if I do dye my hair this color is use a toner because all the times that I've dyed my hair I've never used a toner and as you can see this has lots of warm tones in it so I wouldn't mind having more of a cooler ashier tone so that's something that I will definitely try to do to see if it works out in my hair but this is the color that I'm thinking of dyeing my hair and not all over I would just be doing like a balayage or highlights something like that the only way that I'll dye my hair is after when I'm done washing it out from being straight and if I notice that I don't have heat damage and if my hair is in pretty good health that's the only way that I would ever suggest for you to dye your hair is if your hair is in good health because if you're dyeing your hair on um, heat damaged or um, well heat damaged color damaged hair then that is just not going to be good for you so i'm just going to assess and see if my hair is in good health and then i will definitely let you guys know if i'll dye it and i'll put a video out there so that's it for my video today hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments leave that all down below and that's pretty much it i'll talk to you guys later bye